Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We are here in Tiny Town. We are playing on extreme difficulty, but we are playing with Phoebe Chillax, or whatever the name is. So the events are spread out a wee bit more, which is helping us have a much more relaxed game where we actually get to build things up and not, you know, constantly be fighting non-stop fires that are happening while we're getting sieged, while we're being um, eclipsed, so we don't have any power, because that's normally what the game likes to throw at us. I kind of expect that sort of thing will still happen, but at least we'll have a long enough pause in between those things to maybe actually repair and move forward. So we're researching our medicine production right now, which sounds quite swell. We've got our six people. We just recently recorded Rob, which sounds good. Our schedule is fine. Yep, totally fine. We're good there. Excellent. I'm going to finish smoothing out the floors here relatively soon. We'll see how that goes. Um, oh, you know what? I did I did finish researching uh, Devil Strand Tech, right? Oh, we got some visitors. Nice. Let's go and do this and say I would like to plant Devil Strand over there. Lovely. We got some visitors from Gardner's Community. Oh, there's a different faction from last time. What's our relationship? 24 right now. Be nice if we could raise it up uh, high enough that I felt comfortable about, um, um, you know, recruiting some of these people. I'm not going to try to recruit them on this visit. Just make sure they have a really great time. And you will probably be expanding this uh, Steam Geyser at some point. It's relatively close. We can close it in over here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, I think what I'm going to do... With Mimber, I'm going to finish researching medicine production. But then after that, I think I'm going to go and put Mimber on mining. It's it's uh, the 6th of spring. This snow is going to melt soon. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign, say, the steel here and the components over there. I mean, we have a fair amount of components that are sitting around outside of our storage stockpile. But we are going to need a fair bit more. So I want to go and assign a little bit more mining over there. Then there's a bunch of steel over here as well, but I'm gonna just start with this. And yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Remember, after finishing the medicine production, which we may or may not actually start the medical production, um, but what we'll do is uh, we'll put her or him? Her on mining. I was pretty sure it was a her. We'll put her on mining. And I think that's gonna be swell. Still have tons and tons of food. We actually have like a, a food storage problem. Uh, we have a piece of art over here that could be installed in the medical room. Yep, that sounds good. Rob's working on art, which is... Oh, right. Um. R hmm. Hang on. Here's the problem. Okay, Dutris is better at art. But Rob's kind of going to be busy growing and hunting. Because I was going to say, it'd be, it makes sense, I suppose, to take Rob off of art and put crafting on there. But I think in practice, what we're going to have to do is get Dutris back on stone block crafting. Unfortunately. So things got moved around a little bit over there. I have to deal with it. Um, why does Klindos have this, like, nearly completed statue? You know we have art enabled. I'll force you to maybe finish your statue. Uh, I think um, I think this is blocking it. I cancel that art project. Let you finish your meal. Prioritize sculpting, and I'll just get you to finish this one um, without starting another one after that. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, excellent. So you guys are collecting smoke leaf, psychoid leaves. I think we've got psychoid leaf processing. I don't know if we do that at the crafting spot. Probably not. No. Probably not. Is there like um Oh, you've got our prosthetics, our bionics. We've got our fermenting barrel for making raw wort into beer. Drug lab, brewery. And I do want to get this started. We've got a fair amount of space over here. I mean, this is sort of a, a secondary stockpile. Um okay. Let's let's get started. Drug lab there. Brewery, pier, fermenting barrel. I don't there, I guess. We'll see how that goes. Stove, electric, this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to start with the prosthetics quite yet. Although it is nice that we can start doing bionics. Clindos, this is the same sculpture, right? Yeah, you haven't started a new one? No, good. Yeah, just, uh, or did you? No, because that's Dutrius's. Yeah, okay, so this is the same sculpture. So when you're done, I'm going to make sure to turn off your, your art job completely. Uh, and who's our talker? 
Well, we got a couple of different options. But Rob, why don't you go and talk to Priscilla over here? We need more silver for we're gonna finish. Oh, we need we were gonna buy components whenever we get that as an opportunity. Um, I'm gonna sell these joints. Um, I guess I'll sell the hood. It is ex like some one of my people might like to wear it, but if they're not wearing it now, it's because they don't need the headgear. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so we will earn one silver out of this. I guess that's fine. Okay. Sure. Come on, Clindos. Nearly done. Hopefully it's a good one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, and then I'm going to just take off your art duty over here. <laughs> duty. Um, what do we get? Normal quality. Oh, that's the one that's deploying there. Oh, this is the one you just made. Superior quality. Wow. Well, I'm going to go and install it in the prisoner room. Say it right there. Prisoner room still needs a fair amount of work. So now we have a statue in this big room, in this big room. Um, we could use one maybe in the hallway at some point, but that's okay. Um, oh, we don't have one in the guest quarters yet. Hang on a sec. Never mind. This is going to get installed here. There we go. Wonderful. All right, that'll do. Uh, medicine production is done. So let me confirm that there's nothing else I feel I need to hurry as is. There's more drugs, you know. A uh, moisture pump might be handy to um, clear out the marsh over here. Rib replacement. Put dispensers inside of ribs. That's quite interesting. Hospital beds. Um, I'm going to start that so I remember to do it. But I am indeed going to go and tell Mimber that I want you to mine. It's minus two, but the snow is going to go away soon. And I'm going to get Mimber to start clearing out some of that stone. And that's going to be quite good for us. Priscilla enjoyed her stay. Left us medicine. Excellent. Just one. A medicine. Yeah, that's fine. They're amazed by the hospitality, so that improves our faction ranking with these guys. So then we can, you know, start trying to recruit some people some more. Excellent stuff! I gotta say, if it wasn't for the hospitality mod, it would actually be really slow for us to increase our numbers here with the, um, the big space between all of the events. So we're making our smoke leaf joints. That's good. They Hey, they sell well. That's one of the reasons we're making them. Yeah, they also keep our people happy. As we could just see a puff of smoke happen over there. But um, that's primarily there to make money. I'm not going to say, you know, we can't smoke our, our, our profit. That's okay. Some of the other drugs, maybe not as much. So that's going to be still installed. That's going to be fine. Clindos, you are... Mm, yeah, hauling steel. It'd be nice. Great. What you up to? Uh, you're probably hauling something good. But go and grab, yeah, these steel chunks and bring them into the base. Because right now it's kind of annoying. That Clindos has to go so far away. We've got some wood inside the base already. So it's just the steel and also components that Clindos might be forced to run right around on. Someone is visiting us. It feels like a lot of someone's. And it is an actual raid. Oh, and they're going to use sappers to tunnel around my defense. That's very annoying. So you're popping in directly south of my base. I'm going to recruit everyone up. And maybe position over here. I don't know if we'll get there in time. But it'd be nice to take some shots at these people before their sappers do what they're doing. Klindos has got the sniper rifle and is an excellent shot. Why well, say that? Oh, they got charge rifles. So they're gonna they're gonna come through here. I'm wondering if we want to set up because they're gonna be a bit bottlenecked. If we actually want to change my mind and, and go inside, but. Uh, Dutris with your shiv. I'm going to get you to go. Well, I wonder if any of these guys are melee. Or if I want to rush them. Yeah, we've got a club person. Dutris, just stand back a little further. Gray's got no weapons. So I'm just going to tell you to go inside the base. Cam's got just a crappy pistol, which probably won't reach. Clintus is going to get murderized here. Molotov cocktail on wooden wall is kind of a bit annoying. Not too bad. Okay, we've got partial cover. It's not as good as a sandbag, but it'll do. Cam's going to take some shots here as well. Oh, there we go. Let's run away so we don't get lit on fire from the Monotov. And I think, yeah, I think I will run inside. Well, that's inconvenient. Okay, run over there. That's, that's going to be okay. These fires will be relatively easy to put out. They're all outdoors. It's if they start lighting this stuff on fire, that's going to be a lot more annoying. Um, gray. 
I'm gonna get you to flick this switch, because some people are gonna come around behind. And then just get back inside. Nathan, I need you to be deactivated. I want you to die. I'm just setting everything on fire. Trap, trap, dead. Good. Oh. Uh, you can't decide where the hell they're going. This fire is really bad. Yeah, I was going to say, this temperature is going to be insane in here. Gray, I'm going to get you to recruit and go out. Um... these rooms are so small you're gonna no I need you to put out the fire from outside or wait for some of these walls to go out yeah I think there's gonna be a lot of that um, I'm gonna get you to prioritize extinguishing the fire here what's the temperature in here it is climbing a fair bit but it's not too bad yeah go outside and do those it's far less dangerous are they like are they still here like the attack is continuing ish maybe they are running away and I just hadn't noticed. And this is a really, really, yeah. That's a lot of fire. Maybe I should equip, like, fire suppression stuff going forward. So you're just leaving. Maybe. Who needs rescue? Gray, not a surprise. Klindos, why don't you go and rescue Gray? At least this is all open to the outside now. So you're not going to overheat the same way. Although going through here, perhaps... Uh, Klindos, I'm going to get you to actually prioritize extinguishing the fire that's inside here. Everything's made out of wood! At least we got some blocks, finally. Uh, oh, Gray's back on fire. <laughs> so now I can drop Gray again. I mean, it sucks. Oh, I don't want you to stay there, but we've got to put out the rest of the fire. Oh, you're still here. What the hell? Die, die, die. Come on, start running. There we go. Flee. Flee, goddammit. You've done enough damage. Dutrus doesn't have... I guess you have a melee weapon. There we go. Alright. Recruit, unrecruit. Cut up the fire. It'd be really nice if it rained right now. It is raining! Yay! Rain! Okay. So we do have to rescue that. Putting out the fire is the most important thing. Wow, we're going to have to reset our entire base here. So many injuries. We do have two medical beds, which is good. Um, Calm is still up and running and is uninjured, which is very nice. Uh, could someone prioritize now actually rescuing Gray properly? Thank you. Get him in there. And Cam, I know you're trying to sleep, but could you prioritize treating Gray in? It's probably already going to get horrible um, infections and stuff. Well, one thing I wish is that we still had our, like, like blueprint down, because I would very much like to just rebuild things as is. Um, oh, we lost some of our blocks in here. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have that many. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I don't have to have everything lined up like before, but I kind of would like it. It feels good. Let's see here. We need to make sure that we don't... F up the placement for the geothermal. Then we need to get structure. Yeah, just more blocks. Well, we don't have this many blocks. I suppose I could use more wood, but... I don't know. I'll leave a space here before. There wasn't one, but I think it's going to be handy to do something like that. Uh, although, oh, that means I might, these bedrooms aren't going to be lined up um, properly anymore. Yeah, so no, let me get and put that back that way. That's going to be fine. And cancel you and you. Okay, let's we'll start with this. Um, air conditioning here doesn't matter too much. Power, though. Some of our food might rot. It's a good thing we've got, like, a lot of excess. But, still kind of sucks. 
Let's get all these power lines redone. Yeah, even these bedrooms got exploded here. Um, that can be made out of wooden walls, these internal ones. That's probably okay. Although I suppose the more non-wood I use, the more stable things are going to be going forward. Uh, we're going to want some beds in there. ASAP, so people don't sleep on the floor quite as much. Uh, I suppose I could unprisoner room this stuff. There we go. That's not a bad idea. Um, I can't switch the guest beds. I can't make pe make it so that people can sleep in the guest beds. That's just not an option. All right. I haven't actually checked the injuries yet. Did you, like, not actually finish treating everyone? That's kind of annoying to me. So what are you looking? You've got a bunch of burns and some malnutrition and some bruises. So it looks like we don't have any permanent injuries. Surprisingly. Very surprisingly. Uh, we don't have any cooked meals anymore. That's really shitty. That's really shitty. People can eat raw potatoes, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, oh, we lost our cleaning bot in all that. The fire destroyed the cleaning bot. No! Cleaning bot. Okay, you're going to consume some berries. Yeah, we got to get our walls up as a priority. Um, do I want to, like, get construction going on everyone? Uh, I think the answer is yes. On the two people here with a little bit more passion, I'm going to go in and improve your construction stuff so you can help get up some of these walls. Um, oh, man, we even lost the goddamn... Um, the goddamn crafting station over here, which actually might be a somewhat higher priority, the stone cutters. Because we don't have the stone right now. We got some power here. Which is nice during the day. Hopefully the batteries will charge up again. It's not connected to the entirety of the grid. Uh, we're going to turn off that power over there. Not that it matters too much. You're going to go and dig. Which is okay, actually. We're going to need some of this. It's fine, I think, if you do a little bit of the... Um, um, the mining. Major brisk, break risk. You're idle. Dutris, really? Here. I'm going to help out with some of the construction, buddy. We need someone on cleaning duty if we don't have a cleaning bot anymore. Uh, I'm going to cancel the brewery. And that. I guess the, the under construction projects couldn't possibly get destroyed. All right, that'll clear up some material for us, too, which is okay. We'll want these walls rebuilt later on, but it's not the same priority at all. At all, at all. We got some beds again. I didn't list a particular um, quality, you know, uh, although our best constructor will still do it, so it turned out to be halfway okay. Can't believe we didn't lose anyone and all that, but we did lose a significant portion of our base. But this is where Phoebe Chillax should come in relatively handy in that we're a little bit further apart on disasters. We're going to have enough problems with, like, mood going on here. The last thing we need is, like, um, an insect infestation jumping on us right this moment. I should be particularly bad without power because we can't, like, move the guns to defend the base or something. That would be really shitty. So, yeah, there's no way I have enough sandstone for all this. I'm going to let them construct as much as possible. I suppose I could have used wood in between here for the bedroom bits, but it's still relatively outdoors or outside, so it's more vulnerable to fire. So more things than made with stone, the better. Um, I suppose I could even deconstruct some of these other stone bits so that we've got access to some of these blocks. It might not be terrible. Let's do that. Um, this over here, not that one, because that's danger. Uh, that's, I think, all wooden walls. Well, we can do some of that. And actually, maybe this area down here. There we go. Unlocking a bunch of blocks for us to use. All right, so you guys are having a sleep indoors. There's some extra beds over here. So, you know, overall, it's not too bad. Power is still kind of shit because we don't have geothermal. And also, um, this is not connected to the rest of the grid. Now, the importance of this one is a little bit less. We'll do that. I'm not going to rebuild the solar panel, though, because it's still going to be outside of our base, which means it's vulnerable to attacks at some point. Yeah, I think this is going to be sufficient for the construction. Um, Cam, I'm going to bring your hauling up. You can still grow first, that's fine, but you'll haul above the mine and plant cut and all those things. That's going to be okay. We don't have a joy source, which is not great. Food poisoning from the raw corn isn't great. Uh, Visitors. They have some items to trade. Okay, well, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, we still have the guest room up, so they actually might still be quite happy with their stay, which is odd. Do we want to spend time sucking up to them? Okay, who are these people from? Or where are these people from? Where are these people, period, right now? You are from Bliss's Crag, which, you know what? If we recruited one of you, we probably wouldn't start a war. So the question is, do we want to? 
Uh, you're an excellent crafter. We could actually really, really use a good crafter. Um, psychically sensitive and too smart. So that's going to be a no there. But maybe Jones over here. Hearing loss, bad back. Nope, never mind. Tell you what, we'll just suck up to you guys. That's going to have to be good enough. And I said Rob out here to maybe do some trade. And what can we get? We can get some cooked meals. I'm going to sell some a bunch of this cloth. We're growing cloth. So we're going to do that. We're going to sell some go juice, which I think we probably got from some of the dudes we just killed. Um, we're going to keep one Molotov, one EMP. That's fine. We're going to sell a bunch of shoddy clothes that probably comes off these dudes we just killed. No, you don't have much in the way of silver. Uh, is there anything we want to buy then? Not really. You know what? We'll buy a bunch of medicine and the meal. There we go. So now uh, you actually have enough silver for this particular transaction. So we'll do that. Especially since we don't have a cooked meal. So people have been stripped and getting buried. Very good. I think that cocktail or something was forbidden. There you go. And a steel club is forbidden over there as well. Get that all cleared up. Most of the walls are up. We might be a little short on material over here. Did it? I guess we only had blocks of one type. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Try to get the geothermal up again, which is going to be really important for consistent power. Lots of minor break risks, but that's not too bad. We do need to get the cooking table up, but... Is that more important than getting the walls up again? Honestly, probably, yeah. Where were we cooking? We were cooking in here, I think. Which still seems like a pretty good position. So we're going to get the electric stove back up over there. And I will want that paired with a comfy chair. And we will want a light in this area as well. Don't want to cook in the dark. I'll just put it right in the middle. We don't have enough sun material right now, but I think we've got a lot of material scattered around, and it's going to be fine. So lots of raw food, but no cooked meals. We had some that then burned down. I mean, we could put the fire suppression units all over the place, and that seems like probably a pretty good idea. Maybe get one in each one of these big rooms or something for the future. No need to rebuild this. But our basic base structure is mostly there. There's, you know, wait, oh, come on. Please tell me these are visitors, not another attack. Not right now. Okay. Oh, bulk goods trader. An actual proper caravan. That's quite exciting, actually. But yeah, we are officially out of stone here, so do I want to start building out of wood? Probably. Well, I don't know, because I can set a build here. You know what? Make stone blocks forever. And we do have someone for whom crafting is a high priority. Yeah, so Dutris, I'm going to take you off construct, so basically you're going to be on craft. Uh, you're going to go and suck up to someone. That's okay. I don't mind that, actually. Absolutely amazed by the hospitality. They left us yes, a shitty pair of pants and also some cow skin. Well, the cow skin's not bad. Right, and then we have actual proper traders over here. So, Rob, go ahead and give a chit chat. This trade's pretty important still. Um, I, ooh. You know, there's something to be said. Labs are pretty good dogs, but we don't have. We don't really have money for doing this sort of stuff, so. Um, I'm going to sell some of the meat, especially because we don't currently have air conditioning. And last time I checked, we didn't have had someone who could uh, make fine meals. We can hunt. There seems to be a lot of wildlife here. I'm just selling, selling a ton of meat over here. Um, the potato logic is, is also kind of there. Um, that a lot of it might end up rotting, and we still certainly don't have the capacity for it right now. So let me sell some of that and sell like a thousand... Oops, how come I can't... What? can't type really no oh, there we go oh oh because i wasn't putting in the minus sell like a thousand units of corn um maybe buying a little medicine is not a bad idea actually oh uh, wait that's turkey leather medicine is over here ah uh, you're charging a little too much. Maybe I'll hold off. We'll sell the smoke leaf joint. That's fine. We need 50 units of plasteel for something. This takes a fair amount of our silver. It's a lot of silver, but the price is good, and we're not really able to buy it from anything else right now. Sell the crummy parka. All right, so we're not making much in the way of silver, but we need the 50 plasteel. We still need, um, I can't remember, like 20 units of gold or something like that, which we don't have. I could buy some meals, uh, but I don't think so. All right, I'm going to accept this. So we still have plenty of raw food. Plenty of raw food. And not much extra silver, but I think it's a good deal. So, Because we want 
Yeah, 50 plastic. We need 20 units of gold at some point for that. Hurts a little bit, but it's there. I wonder if I could have bought components. I don't remember. Your... What are you building? Oh, silver tile. Oh, yeah. That's where all the silver is going. Um, Which is fine. You know what? I'm going to cancel this for now. Um, I canceled some flooring, which I didn't want to do. Keeps moving over there. We'll cancel the rest of the silver floor. Because we may need to buy some things as an emergency measure. All right, so we bought, we've got the block construction, which is going to be down. We're still waiting for... We do need some components over here. But we do have some that has been dug out, and more can be dug out. Uh, Mimber is still set to mine, so Mimber should go and hopefully dig that out. In fact, I'll probably force the component mining first. And power-wise... Yeah, this is, this is looking not literally intact. We want that as a little bit of a redundancy, but no, no, we're good. We're good. We just need more actual power going on here. I think during the day we're mostly okay. Mm -hmm. So, Mimber, who is stressed. I'm going to wake you up early. Yeah, I was going to say, consume corn. Yes, I realize it's raw food and you're going to be kind of miserable about it. But deal. There we go. Now you're not super hungry. Then I'm going to tell you to come way out here and prioritize mining out some compact machinery. I mean, we've got some components over here, so we actually aren't so bad off. But I'm still going to be handy to do that. All right. Electric stove is done. Power situation is a little shite. But fine meal. Yes, I realize no one can cook it yet. That's okay. Simple meal. And you're going to do until you have blah. You're going to try to do 60 and restart when you're at 30. And simple meals, you're going to do until you have blah. And I think the same thing. 60 and restart if you go below 30. Excellent. So you can only cook part of the time here because our power is very inconsistent. All steel to the geothermal. Yeah, keep working on the geothermal. Whereas, and Mimber will keep mining out some stuff. Or go for a walk, which is not the handiest. Go over here. You want to walk? Walk to there. Walk to the compacted machinery. Did you? Are you getting... Okay, no, there you are. Maybe you're just so miserable that you keep abandoning it. I was worried you couldn't pathfind your way over here for a little while. I realize it's a pretty long walk. There's a lot of opportunity to change your mind partway through. So this is still not quite enclosed. We need, uh, well, I guess, wooden walls here for now, since we don't have that much material. I don't think I need to enclose the rest of it. Admittedly, yeah, this is not air conditioned. This is the higher priority spot for it. So that'll have to do. Rob, you're going to consume some raw food over there, which sucks. Oh, yeah, you've lost your dining table and everything. Very unfortunate. Ah, but we're about to get the geothermal. That's going to help us get right back into business. Okay, that was, I mean, I got to say, that was really brutal. That much fire. I'm just happy no one's got any permanent injuries to show after all that. That's really quite miraculous, in fact. But this set us back a lot, um, having our base demolished like that. We were feeling pretty good about our situation. Um, <laughs> the sheer bulk of Molotovs. I don't know. Should I stayed out here and shot them more? I'm not sure what the correct move would have been in that case. It would have been nice if we'd gotten, like, more stone walls up. Um, but we are starting with the sandstone once again. Uh, we're going to be sandstoning this completion over here, so that's going to be good. You are making sandstone chunks right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you do have a different type of stone as well. Yeah, limestone. So we'll have to see. I mean, I could just set it to, like, force you to only make a single type of stone. Actually, maybe I should do that first. First priority, just make sandstone. And then if you run out of that... I mean, it's a little more inconvenient because it could mean, um, then just make limestone. It could mean longer walks and less efficiency, but I, I don't think that'll be good. It'll encourage, increase the chance that I just have a lot of one type of stone block, which is going to be handy. Well, hey, no one died, so make a note here, huge success. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.